What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today, we're here to find out if we made a profit or loss on the 1955 Chevy Bel Air, also known around here as the Hell Air. You didn't know I sold it? You should have followed me on Instagram and Facebook, Auto Auction Rebuilds. Link's down below. You guys would have seen that. Yes, we sold the 55 Bel Air. Now, we won that car for, I think, a total price of $1,400. We sold it for $3,500. I actually sold it a while ago. I just didn't come out and say anything about it. But I've had so many of you asking about it, I decided to go ahead and do a profit or loss on the car because this one I think you may find a little interesting. Our total investment into that car, that was after... Uh, tires and we bought wheels for it and I mean we 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 a windshield uh, we put quite a bit into that car uh, but we had three thousand five hundred sixty nine dollars and seventy four cents into the fifty five Hell Air thirty five sixty nine seventy four was our total investment into that car I sold it for thirty five hundred dollars to a speed it's not a speed shop I don't I don't know what you would call it, like a customs shop or whatever what they wanted it for. That car is going to live on. That's the best part. The body is coming off. They're not going to use the body, but they are going to put a truck body onto it. They've got another truck that they want to use. Basically, everything that's on the frame, everything, motor, trans, rear diff, all they're going to keep all of that. They're just throwing a truck body on it. So the truck body is going to sit low. You know what I mean? The truck body is going to sit low. It should look real nice. I hope that uh, when it's done, they get me a picture or something that I can share with you guys. It's going on to live another life, a much better life. Trust me. All right. So, you know, we lost $69.74. Ooh. Oh, will we ever recover? Yes, we will. I made a lot of videos on the 55 Bel Air. And I'm here to tell you video number one was by far the top performing video. Video number one did $2,569.81. It did well. The problem is, after that first video, they tanked. Video number two did $490.64. A short that I did on it, uh, where Santa's workshop helped to get it running, that short did $3.30. Another video did 446.68, and then another one did 396.98. Yet another video did 364.97, and another video did 388.49 for a total in video revenue, $4,660.87. Now, you take 46.60.87 and subtract that from $69.74. What do you get? You get a profit, that's right, a profit of $4,591.13. I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I, <laughs> I am quite happy with a $4,591.13 profit on that car. 100%. I would do that again. Whoa. Let's not drop the camera here. All, <laughs> all day, every day all day every day i would be happy to take on cars like that unfortunately that's not the way most of these videos go um it's just one of those things that that happens now if for some reason videos are not coming out regularly other than these profit or loss videos it is because i got sick last week well, i don't know what day it is for you guys but um it's been about a week for me it's been six days since i got sick and i'm feeling a lot better but my voice my voice is still coming and going, guys. So I'm working on getting better. I'm hoping that uh, Copart for me will be in another two days. Um, hoping that my voice is back in time to go to Copart and do the Copart walkarounds for you guys. And then go to IA and do the IA walkarounds for you guys. I've got a lot of profit or loss videos coming. This is probably towards the end of them. And the, the last one I've got for you guys, which will be the next video for you guys, is going to be the El Caminos. The uh, 79... Uh, GMC Caballero and the 85 Chevy El Camino. We're going to do, well, I'm going to say this. We're going to do a profit and loss video, but since I gave both of those cars away, we know that it's going to be a loss. What we don't know, well, what you don't know is how big of a loss it is, how much I had invested into both of those cars. Even I was shocked when I tallied up the numbers and realized how much money. I thought I'd lost a couple grand on those cars. You know, whatever. It was a lot more than that. Anyway, a uh, lot going on, not just on the channel, but with me personally. Uh, I am uh, in the middle of building a house. Uh, I've mentioned that one time in another video. You may not have caught that or not, but um, we, are, we are in the middle of building a house. We really are, and I'm actually quite hopeful 
then in a couple months it might be finished we'll see that may be pushing it but um yeah we decided to instead of just go out and buy a house we decided to go ahead and build one and this is something we've been working on for quite a while and it is a lot of behind the scenes work no video content on this i'm not videoing uh the build of the house we're, we're not doing any of that but this is a new construction and i thought this would be relatively easy you know uh i didn't think there would be nearly as much needed from from me as there has been uh, there's a lot of decisions that go into building a house. For me personally, I don't care all that much. I really, I'm not picky. You know, I never thought I'd be able to own a house to begin with. Now I own outright the, the AAR headquarters, the buyer's property, I own that house outright, the shop outright, all those tools and everything, the lift. I own all of that outright, 100% paid for. I don't owe a dime to anybody for any of it. And then to be able to go from that and build a brand new house no i never like i never in, in a million years thought that that would be me that this would be my life being able to you know have someone build me a brand spanking new house so i'm i'm super excited about it and i'm not trying to complain about it at all it's just i don't think i think it would have been a lot easier to just bought a pre-existing house in fact i know it would have because you know there's nothing to it you just buy it with a new house like you had to pick where it's gonna be at. And I wanted, a, a view was super important. So we had to get a, a view. It's out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but with that said, even out in the middle of nowhere, we have worked out the internet uh, and the internet at a, at a crazy price of like 120 or $130 a month for 2.4 gig fiber up and down. So you're still in the middle of nowhere, but we have internet that's unbelievable. Like 2.4 gigs, or 2.7 gigs, I can't remember. It's two point something gigs up and down. It is fiber optic in the middle of nowhere. That was the, that was a huge selling point for me because now I can upload my videos that are usually 16 gigs in a matter of five, seven minutes, something like that. Whereas normally it takes about an hour and 20, hour and 30 minutes to upload a video sitting right here in the middle of the city. Seems crazy, but that's part of the deal with uh, buying a, a, you know, building, I'm sorry, building a new house in a new area that they've already started putting together the fiber optic system for, uh, it's very exciting. It's very, very exciting. And I'm not trying to complain about all the work that goes into it, but I really thought like, you just kind of pick out of a book and be like this, 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 and then they go do it. Uh, they're always needing you to go out there and check something, which means I gotta pack up, stop everything I'm doing here. We gotta roll all the way out there to go look at things and yes this or no that, or yes, it's, it's a pain, but ultimately, when this is finished it's going to be pretty awesome and i know there's a lot of people asking a lot of questions about the new house how much land did it come with are you going to build a new shop are you selling aar headquarters um i'll probably do a video later down the road once the house is finished and once we finally get moved in and everything um in this house a lot of people asked about this house we rent this house we don't own this house okay this house we pay 2500 dollars a month for $2,500 a month for the house. We pay about another $350 a month in electricity. We pay about another $175 a month for water, uh, garbage, and sewage. So um, to put that into perspective, like the new house, brand spanking new that we will own that's not going to be putting money in somebody else's pocket, the mortgage on that house, $1,400 a month. And that includes insurance and taxes. All of that stuff is in escrow. Um, get 14 a month for my own place versus 25 plus all the two plus we're on well water so there won't be a uh, a water bill it's septic so you only have to have your septic tank sucked out every now and again that's how country it is all right that's how country it is there's no city water and there's no gas out, out there either it's an all-electric house there is no gas you'd have to go with propane if you wanted that so um it's definitely country which is nice the sunsets i've already been out there and experienced some of the sunsets and everything out there it's a beautiful place beautiful piece of land ought to be worth some pretty good money when i'm done uh doing all the things i'm going to do to it i do anticipate building a new shop out there but at this time, I don't think I'm willing to sell AAR headquarters just yet. It's really something to own your own property and house outright and shop. You know, nobody can take that away from me. Uh, it's just, it's a scary thing to sell that off and put all my eggs into this one basket, uh, which would be the new property. I'm a little leery of doing that. I don't know if that'd be the best decision. 
Um, but I'm, I'm definitely interested to see what you guys think. Drop those comments below and tell me what would you do? You know, would you sell off that property? Which, from what I've been told by several people that have looked at it, um, AR headquarters should bring 100 grand easy, one to 120. Okay, you could take that one to 120, put it into the new house, and take that uh, $237,000 property and knock that down 100 grand. I mean, you could literally take $237,000 property and knock it down to $137,000. That sounds like a smart move. Um, I did get a fixed APR. It's very low, very low. It's in the twos. So I got a really good rate um, on a 30 year fixed. I just don't know if I'm ready to sell AR headquarters. There's so much has gone into that place. I have a hard time letting it go. Um, and if nothing else, you know, it's like a doomsday type situation. If everything fell apart tomorrow and I lost everything, I would hate to have sold that house, put all the money into the new one. You know, it bankruptcy happens, man. You don't know what the economy is going to do tomorrow. We can't predict the future. YouTube could ban me or whatever, and I would be out, out. At least this way, if everything did fall apart, I got plenty of cash cars on hand that I own outright. I got my own property and everything and shopping tools that I own outright. You can't take that from me. You know, but if I sold everything and put it into that new house and something went wrong, it'd be a bad day. It'd be a bad day. So I'm tempted to hold on to it and just, you know, keep it there like a rainy day type thing. You never know what's going to happen in the future. But I'm excited. we got a lot going on here, guys. So please bear with me. I have been sick. I am getting better. I'm building a house in the background that I've been doing for months. You guys didn't even know about that. All right. So there is a lot going on. Remember, I am one person trying to make video content for you guys. So if you enjoy it, hit the thumbs up button. If not, hit the thumbs down button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Auto Auction Rebuilds. Links to everything down below. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all very soon in the next one.